What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Keeper Draft. Uh, apologies for the previous draft. There was a, quite a bit of salt there, and uh, I, I personally feel like it might have been justified, but I know it's not the easiest uh, to digest. Gives you high blood pressure and all that, so. Now we're going to uh, try again and see what happens. See what happens. I have no idea, like, what the, what the pick even is here. I don't even know what the... I actually, I, we have one, like, I just went over, I just went over this, like, we have one trophy, and, like, it's pretty low, and, like, we just keep drafting what decks that seem good, but then they don't actually end up being good. I mean, I would personally go towards Vivian Reed here. I like Coercive Portal a lot as well. I could draft mono red, but there's nothing in here that makes me want to go mono red. Devil's Play and Siege Gang Commander are not super high picks for mono red. Uh, I could take the Elf, but I actually think these are better for mono green decks. Like, you're going to get 10 of these. I'm going to just take the Course of Portal. It leaves us open, and it's pretty strong. And then you can pick something like an Ashiok here, which is pretty sweet. And there's not even much good green here. I'm going to take the Ashiok. And ideally, we can get an Ob, a Glenlinger, or the Swords, or the Treasure Map, or the Gaunti even comes back. Yeah, we'll take this Ashiok. That seems good. Uh, I like a Phyrexian Arena. How many cards can we draw? That is the question. Do we want to try to be Sultai so we can try to play Ashiok on turn two? I don't think so. I do like Phyrexian Arena. Yeah, we'll just take the Arena. I think Arena is better than Careful Consideration. Uh, no mic updates, no. I will let you guys know if I get any. It's funny because he said they actually refunded his money. They're like, "No, dude, you gotta go. You gotta go to the. You gotta go to the serious place." Uh, serum visions is fine. Go for the throat seems good. Karn seems good. I do like Karn. I do like another four mana planeswalker. Yeah, that seems good. Basalt Monolith, Repeal, Champion of Wits. Champion of Wits is pretty good. I do like a repeal. It deals with lots of things. Champion of Wits is just strong though, right? Oh, man. Basalt Monolith always seems pretty broken. I always feel like I can do really strong things with Basalt Monolith. I'm going to take Champion of Wits here. Um, oh, I like Tamio here. All right. We can take a Tamio. Maybe Bone Shredder, Sword, or Exclusion Mage comes back. Probably not Sword, but maybe the other ones. Remove Soul? Remove Soul is a card I keep end up ending up getting stuck in my hand. But I'm still going to take it because I still think it's good enough. Liliana or Vendillion Click? I like Vendillion Click here. Oh, Venser? All right, well... I feel like we're in the right colors here. Well, except for the red cards. I'll take a Black Cleave Cliffs just in case we get a Nickel Bolas and want to splash it. Ter uh, I'm going to take the Relic because it's probably better against certain decks. Yeah, same thing with Dragon Skull Summit. Nickel Bolas incoming. Grixis it is, which is like mono red. It's basically the same thing. Basically the same thing.
<sighs> Excuse me. I feel like we're not valuing removal high enough. I feel like I value removal very high and then it gets stuck in my hand because there's not... A lot of the removal in the cube is very limited uh, in the sense that like you have a Bone Shredder and then they play a Grave Titan. Or you have a Remove Soul and they cast a... I don't know, something that doesn't that doesn't really care about it. Like, I don't know, it's just... The removal is, is has been... Oh, repeal is nice. Uh, the removal's been strange for me in the sense that like it's never... It never feels, feels like it matches up with what our opponents have. I mean, this is a solid 10, and then we have two lands in case we draw uh, Nicol Bolas. Draw, open, whatever. Oh, Treachery and an Underground Sea? you got to be kidding me. We're definitely, we're definitely taking a Treachery. I don't think I've actually had Treachery yet in this cube. Uh, are you cheating if we're in the same draft? I mean, you're not cheating, but, I mean, like, ideally you don't look at what the other people are drafting either, so. Yeah, we're taking Treachery here. Underground Sea is fantastic, but... I do like an Impulse here. I don't think Exhum is where we are. Yeah, we're going to take the Impulse. I do like Through the Breach. Uh, Mind Shatter, Freebooter, Duplicant. Into the Royal. Well, we have a Repeal. Kologon's Command? Kologon's Command could have been an option. I'm not going to splash. I'd rather not play the red cards unless I absolutely have to. I do like Duplicant, though. Yeah, I'm going to take the duplicate. We don't have any six drops yet, and that guy's fine. Oh, Ponder. Oh, Dragonlord Silumgar. Yes, please. That's a that's a big boy. Yeah, that's got to be the pick. Oh, I like Jace. <laughs> I like Mindstone. It is a dragon format after all, that's true. I think it just might be Mindstone. Yeah, I think Mindstone's probably better than Jace here. We already have Phyrexian Arena and Course of Portal. Oh, Chromatic Lantern, eh? Actually, I think it might be Chromatic Lantern here. I do like Bedevil, actually. We have two lands to play Bedevil, but Chromatic Lantern is probably just better, right? It's. I wish it was. I wish it was Coalition Relic. Coalition Relic is the better one, obviously. Yeah, I think our our, our color requirements are fine if we take a chromatic lantern i think collective brutality sure it's the only card in our color here massacre worm web of erebos and walking ballista are interesting i think massacre worm just wins games right yep literally what Robo rogue optic just said yep that. i do like a hypnotic specter Prismatic Lens. I don't think we need a Prismatic Lens. We have a Mind Stone and Chromatic Lantern. I'm just going to take the Hypnotic Spectre. Oh, a Dread. Oh, Colorgon's Command comes back. That's pretty sweet. Unfortunately, the Underground Sea did not come back, but eh, what can you do? Kite Sail Freebooter seems fine. Magma Jet seems okay. Graveborn Muse? That's actually playable. Oh, the Bedevil came back. Wow, that's gas. I'm liking the Grixis deck here. If we can just get more fixing. Well, no fixing here. I don't mind a Forbid. Shriekmon and Doomblade are also pretty sweet.
I think I like Shriekma better than Doomblade. I mean... Cold still fixes. We already have Lantern and Mindstone. Mindstone obviously doesn't fix, but... Yeah, I think we're just taking Shriekma here. Also, Looter seems great. Hmm. I bet one of these comes back if we take the Looter. Oh, Badlands. Okay. I like a Badlands. It's making our Nicobola streams come true. If we can get like a Water Grave or something, I'd be okay with it. Flooded Strand does not get any of our lands right now. Plateau doesn't either. Jace is decent. Hostage Taker could be good, right? Do you like Jace more than Hostage Taker, though? Hostage Taker seems sweet. I'm going to take Sausage Taker. I've never called it that before in my life, but you just... Oh, Gristlebrand and an Ulamog. Do we have a way to reanimate an Ulamog, a Gristlebrand? We have zero ways to get either of these into play. Chainer's Edict, Seagate Oracle, Grim Monolith are also pretty good. I'm going to take Graveborn out for now. Like we have, we have Looter and Champion to get them into the graveyard. We just don't have any way to get them out of the graveyard. And Collective Brutality. Yeah, I'm definitely looking at Monolith here, especially because we have a bunch of expensive things that we don't mind playing on turn three. Steam Vents. Necromancy. I think we're just taking the Steam Vents if we have any uh, interest in playing the red cards, which we kind of do. But Devil and Kolagon's Command are both pretty pretty good. We also have 23 cards, so we don't need any more playables. Thran Dynamo. Mannequin does do anything you want, that's true. The problem is we don't have anything to do with it. We have no we have no payoffs here. We have no upheavals, we have no Ulamogs. I mean if the Ulamog comes back, I think it's worth having a Thran Dynamo, but as of right now, I'm not super Oh, Angrath seems great. I like Sheldock Isle, but I don't think it's as powerful in this cube, and I think Angrath is just really strong. Frost Titan, also really strong. I would probably play Frost Titan in the main over Duplicant. Maybe. Eh, Forbid is nice to have. Lava Coil is also fine. I don't care about any of these cards. Sphinx's Rev? Man. I'm not a huge repeal fan. Let's take Outpost Siege. Star of Extinction, yikes. Hey, Makeshift Mannequin came back, that's pretty cool. You can see how late these red cards are going, like Exquisite Firecraft, last pick, like, come on. So we can splash Angrath, Bedevil, and Kolagon's Command, I think. And I, I kind of want to take out the Mind Stone now. And probably one other card. Maybe Main Deck Collector Brutality. I think this seems good. Uh, 
Uh, I definitely don't think we want two of these. We want uh, we want a bunch of blue lands. Six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think we need any red sources. This is five red sources for three red cards. I think that's totally fine. So this is seven, eight, and then five, six. So this is eight, eight, and then we get one more, so I want to see which one we're heavier on. Looks like we're heavier on the blue. All right, let's see how this goes. One awkward thing to consider is that Bedevil is... Uh, a lot of our red is attached to our black. I almost like these two better than like Remove Soul. Uh, we already have Grim Monolith and Coalition Relic. I don't think we need Thran Dynamo just to cast a bunch of six drops, especially when Masquerum is already triple black. Let's see. Thank you. Oral, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Appreciate the support. Let's play first. Oh, a single land? Sounds good. Oh, two lands? Well, we can find a black source in the Nashiok on... I want to put that on the bottom. I <laughs> got that wave, boy. Give me a blue source, okay. That is fine. Ideally, you're gonna whiff because that's what this card does. And it did again. Algar Bolus is terrible. I have no idea why Paul has it in the cube. Uh, wow. Literally no... I guess we'll take the Karn. That's insane. Another island. So we've seen four islands so far. Everybody wins. We get Glenelinger Archmage and Counterspell. I don't think I've even seen Counterspell in the cube yet. That's interesting. You make my dreams come true. Listen to this. Oh, a Swamp or a Course of Portal. Swamp is actually good. What's it gonna be, murmuring Miss Duke? Are you hitting? Ashy boy? Fascinating. I'm tempted to put this Glenlander Archmage into play. I'm also tempted to play Tamio, but if we play Black Cleave Cliffs, we can bedevil this next turn, which may be necessary.
I actually do like bouncing this right now. They have days. Oh my god, days would be such a blow. I mean, we don't want to play around it because we want to play Black Clave Cliffs. Wow, of course they have days. This is unbelievable. Well, yeah, there's 600 cards. You're not guaranteed to see, see, guaranteed to see them all, but I've done 20 drafts. So I feel like over the course of 20 drafts, uh, it's likely that I might have seen all of them. I'm not saying I didn't see it this draft. I'm saying I've never seen it in the 20 drafts I've done so far. I've not had an opportunity to pick up a counter spell. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yep, this is pretty brutal. Yeah, I'm just going to keep the Ashiok alive at this point. They can only deal us three, so... All he does is, is that's true. I see a lot. Oh, we hit a Jace Verin's Prodigy. Prodigy. We have 14 loyalty in Planeswalkers. They have three powers, so that's okay. Three at Ashiok. You got it. Uh, I really don't think we need to draw three here. We kind of need to stabilize. I kind of like getting a freebooter. Chevron Fire. Control Magic, Flame Tongue, Niv Mizzet. Seems good. I mean, if we make if we make Jace up to six, he's taking four, so this could be our last chance to actually use this. Oh, but if it persists, then it just they just get it back, right? Oh, that's terrible. All right, so we've made countless misplays this game, unfortunately. I I, I feel like we've made at least two misplays. One was playing into the the days that we presumed they had. The other was this. Because now they just control magic it and they get it back when we counter it, and that's pretty annoying. Yeah, or they just play that, which we knew they had as well. Oh, man, I'm just playing so terribly. I don't actually know why. Yep, now they get this back. Oh, God. I guess we could draw a million. <laughs> Massacre one time. 
Masakre vam! My only fear is Massacre was going to be one of these two cards, and they're going to... Okay, it wasn't. So we're going to get an, a land. Be sure to counter this. Ew. They did not counter this. That was fascinating. All right, well, we know Control Magic and Niv-Mizzet. Massacre Record would be sick here because you can go, it would, it would give Neg-1, Neg-1, it would kill these three so that it would repeat. It would kill this guy, then it would repeat. It would kill this guy, then it would repeat, and it would go, this guy would be like an O-1. So this thing would survive, but it would actually kill all five of these. Uh, I'm going to discard one island. Uh, we don't have a mana to click ourselves. We could hostage taker Murmuring Mystic and then play it. We could also hostage taker the Niv Mizzet. And we have a lot of good cards in hand, but we have to play around Control Magic and Niv Mizzet at the moment. Both of our planeswalkers are dead, unfortunately. Dak Faden. Sweltering Sun Zealous Conscripts. Hmm. Mask Worm. Massacre Bleu. Looter. So six, we could steal Glenlinger Archmage. It's not terrible. And then if they try to control magic, we can... Yeah, I kind of like that. There's another this. So we know, have, we know they have niv -Mizzet Control Magic and one other card in hand. Jace Bellerin. Yeah, that's fine. Give us both cards. Well, that's rude.
Massacre worm! Where's my massacre worm? We could treachery the murmuring mystic, or we can actually hostage taker it. Leave a blue up. Sinister Sabotage. Oh, we know the Niv Mizzet and Control Magic are the two cards left. Wow, they just took it. That's fascinating. Hmm. Oh, young Graham, have a good afternoon, buddy. Listen to this. Bounce your murmuring mystic. Seems good. Play your murmuring mystic. Oh, play control magic on Silumgar. That's interesting. Every draw, I want to be one step closer to Masakre Worm. They're taking so long during the Let's go. Just let me draw my card. Champion of Wits. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have plenty of mana. Well, not what we're looking for. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can still get rid of the islands. Oh, we both draw. Okay. One in ten chance for Mask Worm, huh? All right, so we know one. We know Niv Mizzet and one other card. That seems good. Come on, buddy. Kerwood, what's going on, my dude? Let's go at 
I guess this guy doesn't do anything here. They might just not have enough cards in their deck. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got! Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Niv because you have Factor Fiction and Baral, and neither of those are good when you have four cards in your deck. So, so you have Factor Fiction and Baral. Oh my god. Me, huh? Um, let's get rid of Grim Model from our folk leader. We can keep playing lands. This is ambitious. Okay, so we know you have Factor Fiction, which you'll likely never cast. And one other card. Oh, wow. That'll do. All right. Sweet. Sometimes you just got to, uh, you know, out, out attrition them, I guess. They have a lot of planeswalkers. I like forbid here. Probably like it better than a remove soul. Collective brutality seems good too. Yeah, I'll just submit with forty one. I think that's fine. keep I would like a three drop uh, no word from Mike I'll ask him if there's any update oh they went to five on the play yikes Oh, that's pretty strong. <laughs> that's pretty strong. A blue source means a turn three Frost Titan, which is probably an assured victory. Probably assured victory. Oh, we got a we got a response incoming from up, oh, and that's the end. Yikes! <laughs> All right, turn three Frost Titan is enough to do it. Enough to do it. So Mike says, I've seen the doctor once. They did an x-ray on my back. They took some blood, gave me some blood pressure meds, just waiting on results. Okay, so. Oh, we could do it again.
is he no longer Mike was never swole. You're thinking of swole Mike. That's a different Mike. Those are two different Mikes. Hashtag two Mikes. That's not what Sure. Take what you can take whatever you like. They took my frosty tea. I'm tempted to play hostage taker impulse here. Or hostage, no, we can't do that. We don't, don't too black. Yeah, I don't think they have mana tithe. One, two, three. We can also steal this, untap three, and have a bunch float. One, two, three. We can have four. So we could one, two, three, four, five, steal this, double black. So we have nine mana, this costs five. So we can go hypnot. We can steal this, play hypnotic specter. We can also hostage take her there. Oh, let's do that. We can also freebooter and impulse, which is also pretty good. I want to take this. You can take whatever you like. Sure. One hundred steal all their stuff, but he's skeletal cat. Thanks so much, buddy. Windmill slam this guy. Sure. Let's go black and this will freeboot your life away. Oh wow, you have your own treachery. That's nice. And a counter spell. Okay, so now we know you have Counterspell and one other card. Here we go. 
Day of Judgment on the top two cards. Okay. Oh, thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. I like Portal and Impulse here. Uh, we did not determine when we're doing the set review. We know we we're going to do it, but we don't know when. I just want to enter my main phase. Why, are, why is everybody taking so long against us today? What's the hold up here? I guess we're in the main phase. Oh, I kind of like Ashiok here instead. That seems pretty good. They have no pressure. Marshall Coup, Plains, Worn Power Stone. Okay. I mean, I can see an argument making about uh, Silumgar because they have two Planeswalkers. Sure. Pact and Flooded Strand. You can have those dudes. Act and flooded strand. Okay. Oh, fractured identity, and we hit two creatures of Venser and a hero of Blade Hold. They have treachery. I actually don't want to give them a creature. We'll play this. They can counter it with their counter spell. And then we'll just pass. They also have treachery in hand. So we know treachery and pact. Hmm. Seven of something. Approach of the second sun, sure. So we also, oh god, oops, that was awkward. So we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, uh, approach. Draws a card with Jace, so now they have six, right? They have Pact in hand. So if we exile three, they're gonna draw one. They're gonna negative, hmm. You can do whatever you like. They have Pact here. Hmm. 
So we can Venser bounce this, get Hostage Taker, steal their Cold Steel Heart, play their Cold Steel Heart. We can also just get Venser and just bounce like one of these idiots. So, they, so they're going to draw for six. Jace is going to split into two piles. It's going to we're going to they're going to we're going to get rid of six, five, and four. Um, they're going to draw three, and then Jace is going to split two, approach something else, and then we're not going to be able to. They're just going to cast it. So Ashok's actually pretty rough here. say black we're gonna have six here we have no responses to anything like they have we know they have treachery and pact mm -hmm. sure They drew for the turn, so now they have five. They no longer have treachery, we know they have pact. It's really hard to keep track of the stupid approach of the second sun. What did they do? They activated Jace, they plus Jace, okay. That's all they did. Well, that's not very good. Oh, I forgot about the plus. So Jace goes to two and we lose a Venser. That's unfortunate. So if we get rid of three, we get rid of five, four, and three. They draw two. So we have to actually do it so that they we get rid of one, we get rid of one, two, and three. This is actually obnoxious. Yep, they have inevitability now. I just don't even care anymore. I'm so tired of treachery. This is like the last, like the past three games in a row we've had to deal with treachery, and we actually have a treachery as well. well I guess control magic is the. I think forbid is just better than remove soul in the deck. So this collective brutality is very good. Um, probably gonna spend like this. Give me one second. I'm gonna use the restroom. Bye.
Hello, welcome back. I almost like exquisite firecraft just to kill planeswalkers too, but probably not. I haven't seen any cards in any set that are uh, particularly busted. Little man, shut up. I have a Merfolk looter. I wonder where my Merfolk looter is. Maybe I can steal their Merfolk looter and make it my own. See what you got. Show me what you got. Approach of the Second Sun. Glenelendra. So you're gonna play your third land. We're gonna play our fourth land. We can go hostage taker. Steal this guy. I think I just want the Medillion click here. Although they can go island worn power stone. And that's what they do. Oh, we can hostage take her the one power stone, though. That's pretty sweet. And next time, if they play Glenelanger, we can just start angrathing them, which is pretty nuts. Yes, you take this. No. Okay, well, that's not a thing I care about. I will block. Champion of what? Oh, Dragon Lord Solengar. Let's get rid of Grim Monolith and Island. Play this. Cast this. And you can Glenelend your Archmage that if you'd like. You can do whatever you like. This makes it so if they have Condemn, we don't get to lose the Worn Power Stone. <laughs> they did. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Nicely done, us. Nicely done. We can also steal the Angrath, or uh, steal the, the Merfolk Looter with Angrath, rather. This feels like a negative two here. Yeah, this card's good against us. Which is why they took it. Uh, 
I like playing Dragonlord Sylengar and stealing our Angrath back once they uh, once they copy it. Or we could actually steal their Glenelinger Archmage and copy. They have one card in hand. This game should be over. Oh man, Angrath. Angrath is a sweet card. That dude does some work. Do I want the remove soul too? Like, it gets rid of Glenelinger Archmage. They don't really have a ton of creatures. Everything else in our deck seems good. I'm tempted to cut one island for one more swamp. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black sources. Yeah, I like that. Just because I want to be able to play Arena or Hypnotic Spectre on turn two. Lava Coil also good against Glenelinger Archmage as well. I feel like every every match is an uphill every game is an uphill battle. Like, I want the Angrath because it's strong, but I don't want to keep five, six land Angrath hand. This is nice because Kitesail Freebooter should make it so that Ashiok resolves if we hit a land in the next two turns. Fractured Identity is stupid, but they don't have a third land. It might just be Jace here. Like, whatever they treachery, we can treachery back. Fractured Identity sucks, but there are ways from casting that. Yeah, we're just going to take the Jace here. So what do they have? Four cards? They have Fractured, Karn, Condemned, Treachery. Oh, oh, nice. Well, we're not attacking because I don't want to get condemned. So, seems pretty easy choice. Next time we also get Phyrexian Arena. Yeah, that's fine. Condemn is gone. Oh, Hero of Bladehold seems nice. Um, all we can really do here is Phyrexian Arena, I think. Now they have a choice, so. I mean, they could just not hit a land. Let's 
seems like it might have been the case. Oh, wow. Us getting an extra turn here to play Tamiyo and tap down one of their lands when they miss the land drop is pretty insane. Uh, oh, we can still tap down the white, though. I mean, we know they have Fractured Identity and Treachery. What are the odds they have? Benzer, Treachery, Glen. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. So if we don't play a creature, like, I guess they could go Venser and bounce, but, like, they really don't have many... Having Frexian Arena on board is pretty nice. Like, they have to go... Oh, that's fascinating. Hmm. Well... This is rough, but if we... One, two, three, four, five. If we hit one more land, we can Dragonlord Salungar and then still keep up mana to counter their treachery. They have to Venser Ashiok here, I believe. So now we know they have Treachery and two other cards. Counterspell is still an option. Pact of Negation is not, though. Okay, sweet. <laughs> this is actually very good for us. This game has been pretty good so far. Yep, flip Jace. You can get back your Fractured or your Time Warp, but then we can counter it. I mean, this is the same as... They get this back, right? Either way, they're getting it back, right? So we might as well keep our... Might as well keep our Silumgar around. So now they have Treachery. They also have Flippy Boy Jace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can actually play two things. We can try to steal this. They'll presumably counter it. And then we get to play Ashiok again. Hmm. 
Fascinating. Thank you. Let's attack Bellerin, I guess. Demok, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. And if you guys want to support the channel in other ways, you can go to meundies.com slash franklaporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Additionally, you can go to uh, manatraders.com and uh, you'll get 20% off your first three months of any subscription, which is a good deal. And uh, if you're renting physical cards or uh, digital cards on Magic Online, both of those can can be found there. Mm-hmm. I mean, they have four cards left in their library. We can actually go Treachery... They counter treasure. We can go Ashiok. They're going to counter Ashiok. Then we go treachery. Like they literally have to counter Ashiok. It's a must counter card at this juncture. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man, Ashiok wins us the game. Oof. Either approach was in their hand or was in their deck. Either way, if they play if they play approach next turn, it goes into their deck and they don't have a way to deal with Ashiok efficiently, so then we would just be able to. Um anyway, the, we won the game. That was our our wow. Mm, yes. I think we actually just want Forbid over Remove Soul in general. Well, that was sure something. I think if you treachery that Selimgar, you actually got your... We do get your Tamiyo back. But the problem was, well, I, don't, I don't care about the Tamiyo. I care about them having three cards, and I want to ask Shiok to make sure I get rid of their three cards. So if we get rid of uh, the Glenelanger Archmage, their options to counter the Ashiok are minimal. That's just a fun quirk, not a way to win. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a literally definitely how the card is designed. Kitty cat, shut up. Uh, we'll keep this because of impulse. I think this is fine. If we hit a Badlands or a Dragon Skull Summit or any kind of card that lets us play Coligon's Command or Vendillion Click on turn three, it's pretty okay. That's a good dude. Again, we want a Badlands or Dragon Skull Summit or. What's our other one? Do we have a Black Leaf Cliffs in here? I actually don't know.
B -b -b badlands those are some bad lands I want to see if you have an Ashiok and then I want to get rid of it if you do Vindicate, oh yikes, Gristlebrand. Phantasmal image, mana confluence, forbid. Your hand is gas. I think I'd rather get rid of the Phantasmal image than anything. Maybe. I mean, they copy Vendillion Click, they can rip something out of our hand. It's kind of obnoxious. They can also forbid something, discard Gristlebrand, and then makeshift mannequin it back. Oh, that's gross. Maybe we just take the forbid. God, Gristlebrand just being in hand is scary. I'll also just take makeshift mannequin. I don't know. Cryptic command's also good. Forbid's also good. Like, this is a good hand. I'll take the vindicate. I have no idea if that's correct. Love a good Massacre Worm on turn four instead of a land. That's always fun. Well, they hit a land. That's nice. At least one of us is hitting lands. Was that you got cryptic command up? Okay. I give that one yike. Oh man. <laughs> I just don't want to like play an Ashiok and then have them cryptic command it, so I guess we're gonna pass here. Sure. Return my island to my hand. Joke's on you, I got another land. Ideally, this is a shouldered. Yep. Uh, we're gonna go Return. Target player deals discards a card. Knew it all along. All right. Well, 
Game's looking a little more fair, at least. They're at nine. We got a Vendillion click. You got to deal with that guy. Exhume. Massacre. Go ahead, forbid it, I dare you. Actually, you can probably just let it go. And then you get back Gristlebrand, and then you I mean, like, you could Phantasmal Image, uh, Massacre Worm, kill my, my Hypnotic Spectre, but this seems so much worse. I hope they misclick and get the Lutero Core back. That'd be gas. I guess that wouldn't do much. So Forbid is gone? Or no, you kept Forbid because you discarded uh, Murmuring Mystic and something else. That's pretty good. Yep, that was a fun game. Always a bridesmaid's never a bride, guys. Nah, I don't think that's good enough. Well, they have Exhume and Makeshift Mannequin. Maybe it's good enough. You know what? Sure. A red, 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 black, black, red, black, red cards and four islands and a Grim Monolith? Why not? Sometimes you just want it to be over. Sometimes you just want the misery to end so that you, uh, you, just, you keep the worst hand so you're like, maybe this will be over quicker. And then maybe you could just draw Frost Titan off the top. I have no idea. Relic would have been better than what? I actually enjoyed Watchmen a lot. Well, I mean, we don't get to choose whether we draw an Angrath or a Relic, and I don't think Relic is better in general. I think it's a fine addition. I don't think it's better than Angrath, for sure. I would have taken it in my opener, but... Well... Red source would be nice here. Just counter this. I mean, you're also playing a card that lets you steal their Gristle brand. So, like, I mean, it's not like it has one mode and that's it.
shoulder it, huh? Ah, <sighs> exhausting. A phantasmal image, that's pretty good. Uh, I, I actually enjoy Watchmen. I think Watchmen was good. I thought I mentioned that. Oh, Scarab God. That's good. Joke's on you. I don't even have a creature. What can we do here? Can, if we copy this during their upkeep they have to sack a guy but then they also get back a guy during our turn we have to sack a guy so we'll be sacking our phantasmal image Yikes. Uh, if we copy shoulder that just dies during their upkeep. <laughs> or during our upkeep, I guess. Uh, yep, this is pretty stupid. If we hit a red source, we'd still need a second black source. We need two mana to bedevil. And now they have Scarab God, so they have a backup shoulder, which is pretty obnoxious. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can do here. Like, we're going to sack this guy anyway, so we might as well just put it in the graveyard. But now they have a Phantasmal image that can copy pretty much anything. We have four cards in hand too, so they're just gonna counter this. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh man. Oh cool. <laughs> Got a gristle brand. I'm sure that'll be uh I'm sure that'll make its return.
Oh, boy. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They get back. Phantasmage, I guess. I don't even know. It doesn't matter. They're all legendary. I don't think I'm a big fan of Grim Monolith in this iteration of the cube. Like, I just feel like it's not doing anything. Wow, why didn't they bounce my Black Cleave Cliffs? That's really strange. Shock, my face, Tamio. <laughs> Vindicate. Oh, um, oh, that's fascinating. that do anything it's either this or this I think it has to be this So what do they sacrifice? Like Augur of Bolas and they can get back Augur of Bolas? I mean, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, How do you tell which land just came into play? You right click on it and it'll, it'll tell you if it just came into play. Newly controlled. Yeah, they get image, they copy Venser. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If we take Scarab God, we have to sack it to shield it anyway. Like, they had no creature. I guess they had... Did they have Phantasmal Image? Oh, God. It's just exhausting. I'm just... I'm mentally exhausted right now, so it doesn't really matter. North seven. That's a reasonable amount. You right you can you can hover over it or you can right click on it. Hovering over it doesn't really seem to do anything. If you right click, it's not gonna tell you unless it is the most recently played. Look, I'll play a land. You ready? Are you ready? Oh, they're just gonna Vendillion click. They're just gonna get back Vendillion click. That's super cool. I'm having a good time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope that wasn't too much, but that was getting a little obnoxious. And uh, what can you do? Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore, uh, Manatraders.com, and CoolStuffInc.com. You can check out all the links in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.